We're busting ours to kick yours. Fun to watch. Minus 15. Respect all, fear none. Into the upper deck. Intensity is not a curfew. Oh, mercy. Five, four, two, two, one. The Nationals finally get a blowout to go their way in an absolute offensive domination of the New York Mets. They crush the Mets in Flushing, New York, 16-4 to as they finally get a big win. Welcome into Mass and All Access Extra, everyone. Bobby Blanco here hosting. And alongside me is Mass and All Access correspondent and Mass and Nationals on-field reporter Alex Chappell from Nationals Park. Alex, thanks so much for joining me. I know it's kind of eerie watching a ball game at an empty stadium from the road, but what a game to watch. Hey there, Bobby. Yeah, it was weird being here at Nationals Park. This was our first road game that we did remote, but all things considering it went well, especially when you have the Nationals win like that. And like you mentioned, it was just an offensive outburst at City Field, a dominating performance. You look at that fifth inning, seven runs, eight hits. You love to see it, and the Nats definitely needed just a big win like this one tonight. Yeah, of course, the Nationals carried them tonight it was a blowout win and they things got started as Drupal Cabrera homered early we'll get to him in a bit but Alex we got to start with Juan Soto's towering home run he hit it over the apple in center field at City Field uh it was just an, an all of a, of a shot um and StatCast was all over it tonight yeah, StatCast said it was the longest home run of his career, 463 feet. Amazing. It was a bomb. But Juan Soto putting on a show in the Big Apple. Now, um, he ended the night just a triple shy of the cycle, but he looks sharp tonight. And Davey Martinez saying it before the game, this is a young player that's locked in, and he will be an MVP one day. Yeah, absolutely. And, and teammates were in awe of him. There was a party started. I mentioned that's Drupal Cabrera homering early and he got a second of the night later in the game. He is absolutely crushing the Mets. He's now 14 for 31 against his former team as a member of the Nationals since rejoining the Ma Nationals last season. And I mean, he, got, he ends up with the night f uh, four for four, five RBIs. Just an absolutely wonderful game for us Drupal Cabrera tonight uh, up in New York. Yes, Estrubo Cabrera, like you said, he's just crushing his former team, the Mets. You know, we were looking at some of the numbers. He's hitting 452 with five doubles, three home runs uh, since joining the Mets, or excuse me, since joining the Nats last year, and then 11 RBI in eight games. So really impressive. And he got to get a piggyback ride from the skipper tonight. <laughs> yeah, even David Martinez was getting in on the celebrations. Uh, we don't really see that. He's usually just at the top of the deb, uh, steps giving fist bumps, but giving piggyback rides as well. We can't leave tonight without also talking about the great outing. Another one from Patrick Corbin. He goes six innings, uh, strikes out four, only gives up the one earned run. He gives up two total, uh, only allowed five hits and, uh, and two walks. But, Alex, it's, it's good to see that Patrick Corbin is continuing to be consistently strong uh, for every outing for Dave Martinez this season. Yeah, no question. Now facing the Mets for the second time in as many starts, but Patrick Corbin has been solid out of the gates, giving them everything that they could ask for, especially when Steven Strasburg starting the season uh, that he he just made his debut yesterday when he was starting uh, with the nerve uh, tenderness in his right hand. So to have Patrick Corbin be so solid out of the gates here, that was huge for the Nats and just giving them another stellar start. Yeah, Alex, it was an absolutely dominating win. Finally goes the Nationals way after a rough weekend at home. They get away for their first road trip of the season and they are able to destroy the Mets 16 to four. Alex, thanks so much for joining me and be sure to check her out on the rest of Masson's broadcast throughout the week. Uh, the four-game series continues tomorrow night, and they'll be, go to Baltimore this weekend. And we'll be here covering all the games here on Mass and All Access Extra. Be also sure to check out MassonSports.com uh, coverage. Mark Zuckerman and Byron Kerr have you there. And also Mass and National social media ch channels across the board. I'm Bobby Blanco. We'll see you next time.